<clears throat> She's your queen to be, a queen to be for. Oh, wait, <clears throat> not yet. No, this isn't it. Oh, okay. Hey there, good people. Welcome. So as you can see, it's dusty. It has silicones on it. Definitely sweat. I went to a cycling class today, run outside. It's time. So let's wash this hair of mine. I'll show you the products along the way. I did not pre-poo. I just went in right with my cleanser. This is a clarifying shampoo. It has sulfates to get rid of the silicones on my hair, but it's still very hydrating. It's nice. It won't strip my hair or raise the cuticle, right? It just gets everything off. Love it. By the way, every product will be listed in the description box below. And then as usual, I followed my clarifying shampoo up with a hydrating shampoo because that is the secret to hydrated hair all week long. So after this, I followed it up and then I moved on to conditioning. And I decided to condition with pattern because I'm focused on pattern in this video. So I used the one conditioner without silicones. This is the heavy conditioner. I do really actually love this one the best. I don't really care about silicones as you guys know, but this conditioner from the pattern collection is great, the hydrating one. Um, and it has good slip, it has good hydration. It's really thick, but it does rinse clean, so that's nice. So after putting it on, I went in and finger detangled, made sure there were no knots before I went in with my detangling brush, which is more effective at a large section, and I didn't have any knots. And this took no time at all because my hair just, it, it was great. The pattern really does soften the hair and prepare it for detangling. After that, I rinsed out the conditioner and applied my leave-in conditioner. I, again, love to use creamy leave-ins under mousses. And I find ones that have a good balance of hydrating ingredients, conditioning agents, and humectants really works well. Nice and creamy, nothing too light, but also nothing that's gonna weigh the hair down. And then my hair was prepped and primed and ready for styling. As you can see here, it looks night and day difference between the beginning of the video and after I have cleansed, conditioned, and added my leave-in conditioner. It's just beautiful and ready for styling. Okay, 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 I've been doing this side with my Roby just made my part so it's time to continue to get my hair in formation okay okay ladies now let's get my hair in formation so let's talk a little bit about Nairobi and then I'll be back for the pattern side how about that how about it so as per usual, I'm trying not to do twists that are too small um, I don't want to spend all year on this. I spent enough time already, but I do want this to last because that's how I roll. Nairobi foam. Love it. I use one pump per twist. It has a lot of slip, which is good. has a good amount of weight, and it does leave somewhat of a film on the hair. So, or cast, if you will, so that the hairs remain in place. However you get them into formation, is how they will stay. That is how they will be until the hair is dry. So, like I said, I'm doing two strand twists on this side of my hair. And then, once I'm done with this side, I will wash my hands and do the pattern mousse on this side. Thus, we get no product cross-contamination. And if I get flakes, it's not because I mixed up product. It's because the product I use in the end, gives me flakes. Oh, Nairobi doesn't do that, right? We know. Nairobi gives me a tight, beautiful set that lasts. So I'm gonna finish and we'll be back for pattern. Curl mousse it has healthy hold, whatever that means. <laughs> the inches, the inches are inching. So what happened was I got caught up in watching The Bodyguard on Netflix season one. It's a British crime drama. Um, and so here we are. <laughs> so, oh, I only have a few twists left up here, but nonetheless. Things, observations. First of all, pattern mousse smells like the rest of the pattern products, right? It's a proprietary scent that is light, um, somewhat sweet, 
but not too sweet. It's very salon-esque, right? This product comes out more watery than the Nairobi, but not as watery as Ale K. Uh, if you have the Design Essentials foam, it's kind of like that, okay? And it goes on really well. It's very smooth. It goes all the way down my long strands of hair, right? And it doesn't have as much slip as like Design Essentials or the Doobie collection. So I'm still able to grip my hair. So that's good. It's got a little, it, it like it doesn't have any kind of like tactileness to it. No extra smoothness. Uh, I would say it probably compares well to Nairobi as far as like the level of smoothness. Nairobi is heavier. It's more of a viscous foam. Um, this is definitely more watery than Nairobi, but you know, it's there. I feel it. I have been using one and a half pumps though. One pump doesn't seem to be enough. Two pumps is too much. I end up with way too much extra. So one and a half pumps seems to be comparable to Nairobi per twist. And here we are. I've been twisting for a bit, also been watching TV for a bit because I got caught up. Tell me if you've seen that movie or that show. It has six completed seasons on Netflix and I'm on about to be on episode five. I didn't start it with twisting my hair. I'm just about to be on episode. I've been through two episodes, but I've been like just watching it <laughs> for the last like 15 minutes. Um, so there's that. But I'm just going to finish twisting. I'm going to apply a little bit of the Paul Mitchell on each side as I do and I'll sit under my hooded dryer to dry this and I'll be back. And if you're new here with, with foams and mousses, adding a little heat makes them work better. I'm even for 15 minutes, whether you use a hooded dryer or blow dryer. So I'll be back. I'm going to show you these twists though when they're done because I spent work on this. But I'll be back probably tomorrow to show you guys the finished results. So went in with the silicone serum, like I said, one pump per side and then any that's left over, I just go through and like rub it through the crown of my head and try to get to the ends as well. And after this, I sat under my hooded dryer and let my hair dry through the rest of the way overnight. All right, so I've been taking out the Nairobi side. I didn't want to spend a lot of time on it because really, Y'all see me use Nairobi if you haven't. This is a series where I've been trying and testing mousses and foams against the Nairobi foam because it's like old school original works really, really well. As you can see, my hair is separating mad easy and it's hydrated, it's shiny. It's all the things. So that is Nairobi. Now, let us see pattern I will say it's not like heavy with moisture at all it like I feel that it's hydrated but I don't feel much of the product so there's not much of a coating so we'll see how long it lasts for one and um we'll go from there you guys know like this first impression is just the first impression we have to see how it handles over days but let me separate this so we get get a better look but it feels fluffy and like lightweight which is very nice and you can see the definition is there without a bunch of frizz so far so I'm gonna separate be right back <clears throat> she's your queen doobie <laughs> I just felt like that fit isn't this beautiful gorgeous all the things yes goddess vibes and voila this side is out and it looks beautiful the definition is definitely holding in place there's frizz i would say but not a lot of frizz at all the frizz comes from me separating the hair and getting impatient towards the top i will say at first down here i didn't feel a cast but i think that's because i was still figuring out how much foam to use when i used more of the mousse like when i got to the pump to pump and a half is when it, I start to feel the cast, like there's there's some kind of hold here. So I'm, I'm confident that this will at least be comparable to the Nairobi side. The Nairobi side has had more time to sit and shrink than the pattern side. 
So, you know, we'll see. I'm like, with these videos, I'm like, should I be using edge control? But y'all know I don't ever use edge control, but I feel like I should buy some and try it. So that may happen in this video. If it doesn't, in the comments, tell me your favorite edge control so that I can buy it and then try it <laughs> for some. I'm just in the mood. Y'all know how this goes. I'll be back in like three or four days and we'll see how it holds up. Right now, I'd say the pattern side, I feel more of the product. Um, on the Nairobi side, I feel more of the hydration in my strands, which is interesting. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. See you in like three to four days. You know what? I realize I haven't finished my makeup, but that's not here or there. <laughs> I need to put on a lip color. Oh, what color? It doesn't matter. This is fourth day hair. Um, I will give a few disclaimers. I was sitting outside for like hours yesterday and then hours outside on day two. So there's that. But I mean, I feel like it's held up well. I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my hair. Um, so I wanted to show you guys. Nairobi. My hair is definitely drier at this point. I need to moisturize it, but the definition is definitely there. It has some frizz, but it's pretty much looking like Nairobi does, right? And this is the pattern side. Um, you guys can't see some of the frizz, I don't think, but the definition is definitely there, right? You can still see there's plenty of definition beyond the frizz. Let me turn around. I often forget to do that. <laughs> so turning around, you know, pattern, Nairobi. I think they it looks good and I'm definitely going to continue to wear it my hair today but if I don't keep it moisturized this is going to frizz out today because I will probably be outside for part of today as well so you know it's doing all right I'm not mad at it um the pattern is not like this side is not especially moisturized I would actually say it's very similar to Nairobi and like look and feel and everything else like in every way it's giving me Nairobi if I reach underneath right because that's what where I'll really get like the feeling the pattern side is still hydrated I mean it's still cute they're both giving what they gave I think before I do not anticipate this lasting more than another day though it's just not giving that much moisture like my hair is feeling a little like one more day and it's gonna be dry um even though i just sprayed something on it but that'll just help me not look crazy out and about now a lot of times i get asked how do these hold up in humidity here you go <laughs> it is humid i've been outside and my hair is doing fine right so the mousses do work um to, to kind of hold the hair in humidity I don't want to use gel people <laughs> say that to me why don't you just use gel I don't like the weight it adds to my twist outs and with my twist outs I want light fluffy hair and gel just doesn't do that even when you do use a botanical gel just doesn't work the same as just using a mousse with like, something creamy underneath and so that's why mousses are clutch for this next up we're gonna try Camille Rose so Stay tuned. In the comments, let me know which side you like better. And if you want to see how my hair behaved with the ever popular Design Essentials foam, look here. And if you want to see how I routinely wash my hair, the process, then check out this playlist here. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other in the next one. Bye.